Saturday, November 16th is bringing awareness to our community on the homelessness issue, and we want you to be a part. So we've made our way out here to Providence House. I'm here with Executive Director Vernie Howard, Millie Flowers, and Monique Bryant to tell us about this event and how the community can get involved. Thank you so much for having us out, Vernie. We're so oh, happy to be here. thanks for coming, even in the rain. <laughs> thanks for coming. Yes, we are tough in the rain, and we actually had to get into this awning. The guys behind us are building the box shelter, which is what's going to be happening That's at right. the Independence Stadium. That's right. Sleep out. That's right. And uh, it's so appropriate that it's raining because when people are homeless and it rains, this is what really happens. But Sleep Out for Independence is really our capstone event and it, it brings the community together around one central issue and that's homelessness. Homelessness impacts men, women, children every single day. And these are not people that you may see every single day, but they are in our community yes. and they need our help. And so on Saturday, November 16th, there will be middle schoolers, high schoolers, church groups, youth groups coming together building a cardboard structure, sleeping overnight. It's supposed to be really cold in that yeah. cardboard structure, but they are using their voice, their time, their talent to bring awareness to and of homelessness and poverty in our community. Sure. And Bernie, something that we spoke about earlier is we are aware that the, the homelessness is an issue in our community, but a lot of us have never experienced what these families go through and, sure. and the issues that they have and the pain that it is to be out in the street when it's cold or raining and face you know, the world when you really have nothing. What I love so much is that we see it, but it's just the beginning. Yes. When they get to us, it is, okay, we are here, but where do we go from here? And so this team that we have behind me and, and standing alongside me every single day, we get to, to reset the barometer, if you will, and, and, and start a new path and get a plan and work with children and rehab that whole family. And it's not just food, clothing, and shelter that right. we do. It is education, workforce development, parenting skills, life skills, all of those things that make us whole and ready to begin again. And Millie, for all of those people that won't be able to attend Sleep Out, how can they get behind the Providence House and donate their time and efforts to ending homelessness? Well, there are a lot of ways that they can donate their times and effort, or if they would rather donate monetarily, that's awesome too. You just go to theprovidencehouse.com, mm -hmm. like Bernie mentioned, and you can click donate now and you can donate, or if you do want to donate your time, um, there's lots of ways you can come and serve a meal to our families or students and families can host a game night that residents wouldn't normally get to be able to take part in. Um, we also have the holidays coming up, so adopt a family is a really important thing that we do. Uh, the community can adopt different families that live inside the house and really help them give them a Christmas that they wouldn't normally be able to have. Monique, to better educate our viewers out there, I know that a lot of us understand that there's people that are homeless in our community, but we don't necessarily understand everything that they face and all the problems that they have to endure. Right. Well, I think that um, the number one thing that we have to realize is homelessness doesn't have a face. It can be any of us. Our children just went to the fair on last week, and they don't wear t-shirts to say, hey, I'm homeless. They just fit right in. Yes. And here at Providence House, um, one thing that we um, really pride ourselves on is we keep the family unit together. So whether it's husband, wife, um, single mom, children, single father with children, um, we take them all and we keep them as a family unit and that's so important. We've even had grandmothers with grandchildren here at our um, shelter. Bernie, how can they get involved with Sleep Out if they're thinking, okay, this is something that I really want to get behind, how can they do so? Sure. Uh, there are so many ways. Log on to our website, www.theprovidencehouse.com. You can register online. Mm -hmm. um, it is going to be so much, there, there are a lot of fun elements to it um, so you can go on our website you can show up at Independence Stadium the day of. Mm -hmm. We open, registration begins at three o'clock. You show up with your with your um, cardboard. If you don't have cardboard, we'll have some there and be ready to build a tent. Um, go on, uh, log, you can also log on to Sleep Out 4, the number four, independence.org, if you wanna just get a little bit more information mm -hmm. about Sleep Out for Independence. But the most important thing is to show up. Show up willing, show up ready, um, show up to make a difference this one single day that this community 
can imagine a community where no family is homeless. Yes. Bernie, thank you so much for inviting us out and for doing this for a community. Absolutely. Yeah, we want everyone out there to get involved. It's time to be aware of the homeless problem here in our community and get behind the Providence House to make sure that we can end this. And stay with us. we got more Loving Living Local after the break, so don't go anywhere.